Please welcome to the stage, Senior Technical Director of Video Systems at Samsung Research America, Sung Namo, with Director of Industry Relations at Samsung Research America, Suzy Hyun, and Principal Software Developer of Display Driver at NVIDIA, Genity Petrov. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to SDC. This is HDR10 Plus gaming panel discussion session. My name is Suzy Han. I'm a director of industry relations at Samsung Research America. I'm excited about today's discussion with these two special guests here on the topic of HDR10 Plus gaming, which is the latest game innovation. Hi, can that is Sungna? Hi. Hey. Can you please introduce yourself? Um, my name is Gennady Petrov. Uh, I am principal software developer in uh, display, uh, NVIDIA Display Driver team. Uh, I'm working on the uh, design architecture of HDR in color uh, for the Windows platform. And uh, uh, I am passionate about helping to create the best possible HDR experience, uh, both for the gamers and the game developers. Uh, my name is Song Namo, uh, Senior Director of the Video Solutions at uh, Samsung Research America. Uh, I have been working on video processing, digital TV system platform development, and uh, now extending my skill set to the uh, HDR and the HDR uh, Tempus content creation solutions. Thank you. I worked with these two for a number of years to develop the HDR 10 Plus gaming standard and its products. So before we start the discussion, I'd like to provide some backgrounds to the audience. Do you like to play games? What is your all-time favorite game? If you compare a game today to 10 or 20 years ago, what difference do you notice? I think one of the major differences is game graphics. Game graphics today is so realistic and even cinematic. It's been evolved over time, and it's been possible by the continuous technology innovation. HDR is one of the latest technology innovation that can make the game graphics even more realistic and immersive. So Sungnam, can you please tell the audience what HDR technology is mm -hmm. and what you think about HDR game? Uh, HDR basically stands for high dynamic range, uh, which allows the higher brightness and the large contrast, wider color, and uh, details in shadow and highlight more than conventional HDR format. And this means game artists have a much larger palette to immerse you in the game. A proper HDR gameplay experience is supposed to be providing breathtaking visuals, pulling you into the story and keeping you glued to the game. However, this premium HDR game experience is not easy to achieve in reality. That's right. I've seen so many videos and games that try to end help users along the proper HDR game setup. And some recommendations can get so specific as they talk about what to do with the display settings, in-game settings, and even operation settings. So, Gennady, I know um, you worked on so many HDR game development for a number of years. Can you tell us why this HDR game experience is so hard to achieve, and what, what would be the symptoms of this improper HDR gameplay? Uh, first of all, the symptoms of uh, incorrect HDR uh, rendering or representation, it's actually quite easy to spot. It's usually uh, overblown, uh, washed out highlights. You lost all of the details in the highlight, uh, the uh, overly dark rendering or the blocky artifacts in the dark shadows, wrong uh, hue and saturation, uh, wrong contrast. Uh, 
And this leads to the HDR content actually being inferior to SDR to complete surprise and frustration to the users. They expect something completely different. And the reason for this is quite simple. If you have SDR content, uh, you do not need adapter to every display. You just send a display, it is exactly the same. It works. But with the HDR, every display has its own uh, uh, characteristics. And you have to actually tone them up to this characteristic. You need to do it correctly. There are, uh, those parameters can vary greatly, greatly be, uh, between the displays. Some displays even don't tell you what exactly they are. So you have to guess or rely on heuristics. It's very inconsistent uh, and unreliable ecosystem at this uh, point. And second, and this is probably even more important, the game developers who uh, develop the HDR game have to be aware of a lot of really um, uh, non-obvious details and scenarios they must support to ensure that HDR actually looks great on every single display out there. And this is why it makes the HDR gaming development a non-trivial process for, for everybody. Thank you. Papa Songnam, I know you worked on many different solutions for different displays. Mm. What would be the pain point for HDR game development? Uh, as Gennady mentioned, actually, there are many different HDR displays. Uh, and the, the brightness from 215 is to the 2000 is today. As a video solution engineer, right, it has been challenging to land the SDR or HDR video over different displays. We have to rely on the specific hardware device capability, the gas or manipulate the signals or optimize the look and feel on display. There has been no easy way to emulate all the various display types faithfully. The real missing link in order to fix the HDR game experience is hand shaking between the display and game itself. Right? So if the game understand what the display's capability is, and if the display knows what types of signal it's getting, there is no need for user setup or manual HDR calibration. It can be done automatically. Thank you, Sangnam. Samsung took this consumer game experience very seriously, so we designed and developed a new standard called HDR10 Plus Gaming. This new standard is meant to make the game experience premium quality with automatic HDR calibration, accurate HDR rendering, and low latency. I can tell you more details how this is possible. HDR10 Plus, that is governed by HDR10 Plus technologies, is a royalty-free standards that anyone can adopt without a burden. There are three major benefits of HDR10 Plus gaming. First, it's the device certification. This device certification ensures the functionality and quality of the HDR10 Plus gaming implementation. When consumers and game developers see this HDR10 Plus gaming logo, it will provide peace of mind to know that the device is certified and should work properly. Second of all, it's the protocol. Like Sungnam mentioned briefly, protocol is in need for HDR game. This protocol has to be simple and painless to implement for game developers and device manufacturers. With this HDR10 Plus gaming protocol, games can query the display characteristic information and render the optimum HDR graphic output for each display. As a result of faithful reproduction of creative intention in HDR is going to be possible. Third, device will go into the HDR10 Plus gaming mode automatically. You just don't need to mess around with the manual setup anymore. With this seamless game experience, 
users will be engaged and satisfied with the overall game experience. So now let's hear from our panelists again. Inari and Sungnan, can you tell us how you utilize this technology into your product and how it can help game developers? Starting with Gennady. Thank you, Susie. Uh, so Azure 10 Plus uh, gaming is always uh, issues that were slowing down uh, game developers uh, to support Azure in their games, especially on the TVs. With HDR10 Plus Gaming Standard uh, and Certification Program, uh, NVIDIA can now improve uh, HDR gaming experience uh, for users uh, on uh, all of our GeForce RTX and uh, GeForce GTX 16 series uh, graphics, graphics cards, so basically Turing and later architecture uh, when they are connected to the um, uh, HDR TVs. Uh, HDR10 Plus gaming is supported in all of our drivers starting from R525, so about uh, a year now, and it really covers uh, the uh, uh, several latest generation of our GPU, uh, uh, GPUs and uh, the software that is already uh, out there. Uh, we also developed the NVIDIA HDR NVAPI NVAP uh, version 2. We had uh, some of them before, but this is actually new NVAPI. There are not that many of them. Uh, and the enabling the HDR 10 Plus uh, gaming mode is uh, very easy, as you can see it. You first query the HDR capabilities of the display. You detect that it supports HDR uh, 10 Plus gaming. And then you just call the NV API to set uh, output mode. And this is pretty much it. Uh, additional benefits of those NV API is actually that you can um, request the HDR mode even if you start from the SDR. So users do not need to go to Microsoft Control Panel and MC HDR there. So it provides far more intuitive and uh, user friendly HDR experience and by Connecting to HDR10 Plus, it also completely eliminates all the guesswork related to, uh, to how get the parameters about display and how to ensure that TV essentially goes into the very accurate, uh, pretty much reference mode uh, with regard to HDR. Thank you. Okay, Songnam? Um, basically, you know to have the HDR10 Plus game developers, and, uh, my team has developed uh, kinds of a smart viewer the, called Iris. Uh, the Iris provides real-time rendering on up to three different displays in HDR10 and HDR10 Plus Gaming or SDR for game developers to review the look and feel, which is simplify their design process and the QC process as well. Uh, this will save a lot of time and energy for game developers in HDR implementation and uh, uh, enhance the game experience for consumers. Also, the solution provides like a certification uh, a program as well. So this is a very good uh, starting point to, to verify the, all the uh, HDR templates quality and uh, actually increasing the HDR10 as well. Uh, we also announced uh, and uh, published the Unreal Engine HDR Templates Gaming plugin, which is now available on the Unreal Marketplace. And uh, this plugin provides a simple way to call out the MV API version 2.0 over uh, supported uh, NVIDIA graphics card and implement the uh, HDR Templates Gaming functionality for any game. Okay. So the plugin is free for everyone, and I believe these two solutions will solve the current issues in HDR gaming and let game developers be free from manual or incorrect, incorrect the display setup and push the creative boundaries to deliver beautiful HDR games. Thank you, Gennady and Sangnam. It's really great to see that now the game developers are in good hands with the supporting products in their HDR10 Plus gaming development. So finally, I'm thrilled to mention about the upcoming release 
of the first HDR10 Plus game, which is the first descendant from Nexon Studio. I'd like to show you their trailer. Let's watch it together. <laughs> must follow the will of the ancestors. Accept your calling, Descendant. The Descendants are risking their lives for us, for Albion. Rise, my warriors! Give your lives for Clippo! It's the Ironheart! This could wipe out all of the Volgus, right? That's so cool! Countless descendants have shed blood to protect the sanctity of this great place. Despite their efforts, humanity is still at risk of extinction. And you are the only chance we have. Isn't the graphic amazing? You can play and develop your game in HDR10 Plus Gaming with Samsung Displays. Raise the bar for your next game experience with this great technology and product. Thank you both for your presence today. My pleasure. It's much appreciated. Mm. If you have any questions about HDR10 Plus Gaming, we do have a booth on the floor. You can meet us there. Thank you so much.